From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello everyone and happy Father's Day. I'm Serena Fazan. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. A motorcyclist and pedestrian collide on US Highway 19 and Palmetto Drive on Saturday night, and now both people are dead. The motorcyclist, a father who had just spent the day with his 12 year old son. People in the area say dangerous roads are leading to these tragedies. That's why we are looking into the issue as part of our driving Tampa Bay forward. Newport Ritchie police say there's at least four crashes a day on US 19. And in national news, sheer panic at an all night art festival in New Jersey, when police say at least two men started firing guns. 22 people are injured. One person believed to be the suspect was killed by police. A second man was arrested. Investigators do not think this is terror related. They believe a neighborhood argument spilled into the festival. And back here at home, a popular St. Pete Italian market hopes to reopen in the next couple of days after an electrical fire caused damage yesterday. It marks the first time in 20 years Mazzaro's closed. The owner says it's costing him big bucks, but loyal customers say they will be back once it opens. Several states, including Florida, have recently raised the minimum wage. Here it is $8.25 an hour. But new numbers from the National Low Income Housing Coalition show you need more than double of that to pay rent on a modest two bedroom apartment. Well, time now to turn to weather and Jason. Jason, it is hot. Yeah, it's going to stay hot too as we get into the work week. Not seeing much change in the forecast from what we saw over the weekend. Tampa's high as we were looking at Sunday afternoon was 95. I've got us at 93 here on our Monday, 90 in St. Pete, 92 in Bradenton, 91 in Sarasota, 90 in Lakeland, and 92 for those of you in Brooksville. So everybody back into the low 90s again. And like yesterday, we will have a chance to see some scattered thunderstorms developing. Now, future cast shows that we're going to see dry conditions to start the day, but as we head to the afternoon hours, the East Coast sea breeze starts to move inland and eventually westward. And I think between two and about eight o'clock tomorrow, that'll be the best chance. Two o'clock closer to our eastern zones and eight o'clock closer to the beaches as far as that front, that sea breeze front coming through with the showers and storms. So that's your only chance to get some cooling relief. And you can pretty much expect that over the next seven days. Serena. All right, thank you so much, Jason. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.